Hey friends, it's time for another Friday fun fact where I'll bake you a neat little treat of information you might not have known before. This week, we're celebrating National Cookie Day by learning about the origins of America's favorite cookie, chocolate chip. Beloved by furry blue monsters and humans alike, the chocolate chip cookie was invented here in America by Ruth Wakefield. She was the proprietor and chef of the Toll House Inn on Bedford Street in Whitman, Massachusetts alongside her husband. But she was so much more than that. Ruth was a college-educated chef, dietitian, teacher, business owner, and cookbook author. In fact, her recipe for chocolate chip cookies appears in the 1938 edition of her cookbook, Ruth Wakefield's Tried and True Recipes. According to an article in the New York Times, Ruth came up with the idea as a variation of her popular Butter Drop Dew Pecan Icebox cookies, intended to be served with ice cream. Now, of course, due to time and marketing shenanigans, there are now many different myths about how she invented it inadvertently. These include chunks of chocolate just falling into the batter by mistake, and that she ran out of baker's chocolate and had to chop up a conveniently present Nestle's chocolate bar instead. Carolyn Wyman, the author of the Great American Chocolate Chip Cookie Book, agrees that these are probably false, noting that Ruth's restaurant was famed for their desserts and her perfectionism. She wouldn't have put herself in either of these situations. Regardless, chocolate chip cookies became a smash hit, and for good reason. They're soft, buttery, chewy, sweet, and chocolatey. All the best words in life. Her recipe was not only reprinted in the Boston Herald Traveler, but it was also featured on Famous Foods from Famous Eating Places, a radio program hosted by Marjorie Husted, who is also the voice of Betty Crocker. Sorry Guy Fieri, Betty Crocker did it first. In 1939, these cookies went national when Ruth Wakefield sold the rights to print her recipe on packages and use the Toll House name to Nestle which is how we got the Toll House cookies that we know today. But what really sent their fame skyrocketing was World War II. As Massachusetts soldiers shared the cookies that were common in their care packages, the word got around. This is notable as chocolate was in short supply domestically during the war, as it's an import. From there, the only direction to go was up. Not only did other companies produce their own version of the chocolate chip cookie, as they made the leap from homemade to mass produced, it started to get reproduced in new and inventive ways, leading the New Yorker to call it the triple of American baked goods. None of these permutations were as influential as Ben & Jerry's chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream. Produced in the 80s, the company had to find a new way to mix the ice cream so that the chunks of dough stayed chunky. By now, there are tons of variations to tickle your fancy. When searched on the America's Test Kitchen website, a great repository of recipes, you get 204 results. That's a lot of cookies. But the thing is, no matter what you add or replace, a chocolate chip cookie is always a chocolate chip cookie. That's the magic of it. It's timeless. My sources are listed below, as well as a few other links. I've linked the page of America's Test Kitchen's results so you can see the massive recipe hoard for yourself, and provided you with two videos if you'd like to make yourself some treats this weekend, one by Binging with Babish and the other by Joshua Weissman. Finally, if you're inclined, I've included a TED-Ed video on the science behind baking. Take a look if you'd like to discover what goes on inside the oven when you're not looking. Like and subscribe for more Friday fun facts, and I'll see you next week.